Hey everyone, just wanted to come on here real quick and talk a little bit more about the whole Jessica Kent situation that's been unfolding for the last week. Listen, I'm going to try to keep this video as short and as sweet as possible. I wanted to start off with saying I'm aware that Jessica and Reese were never married. I've had several people in the comments correcting me on that, saying I don't even have my facts straight, they were never married. Well, I I don't know, I'm kind of in the habit of calling people that are that are together that live together have children, and basically live a married life married. But for the few that said, I don't have my facts straight, I'd like to know what other facts that I'm speaking on that are false. I wanted to also start off by saying a few things. I wanted to start off by saying, I hope that people notice that I didn't really touch on the CPS issue too much, and that is for a reason. Because even though the text messages that were shown and that are all over Reddit show that she might have made some mistakes, I don't feel like that she would put her children in harm's way. The other thing is, is that I in no way want to attack her recovery or tell her how to be in recovery. And honestly, neither has N Nicole. Nicole supports Matt recovery and Jessica last night in her video implying that it's the opposite of that is total BS. The funny part is, though, is that Jessica is the one who came out the gate being pretty judgmental of Mindy and putting all of Mindy's personal business out there. But when her personal business gets put out there, she's the victim? I don't think so. Anyways, on with the rest of the video. After watching last night's video, I'm sure many of you have. I'm going to link it in the description. I feel like it's important that we go back because... I can't find on YouTube anywhere the TikTok videos that she posted, and thank God I screen recorded them. So I'm going to play part one of her little four-part series that she posted to TikTok that started all of this. Part two is in my other video I did a couple days back, and that video will be linked in the description. Anyways, let me play you the clip. This sucks. They've had a really rough 14 months, as you guys know if you watch my channel, but this is not the time to have someone come into my life, use me, lie to me, manipulate me, and act crazy in my house and I hate that I have to sit here and film this video and the only reason I'm doing it is because my community the recovery community and the prison community because we overlap we're one and the same you know um they're being lied to manipulated and used by a content creator on here and I feel the responsibility to you guys to be the person to share that as much as I don't want to because you can hurt me all day long you come for my people you come for the ride or die crew the recovery community the prison community and you get a different bitch you know what I mean So the recovery community is her community when it's convenient. 
I guess. And as far as her falling out with people publicly, you know, her engaging in drama and exposing that she fell out with somebody or whatever, I don't think that's ever happened before because whoever she's fallen out with on this platform hasn't had any quote-unquote dirt on her. I like how she says she was friends with Mindy. We were, you know, friends from afar, acquaintances. Girl, she was staying at your house. So, yeah. I don't know. I just kind of feel like this is a classic case of she has dirt on me. I got to make all of my subscribers think that she is absolutely crazy, out of her mind, relapsed. So if just in case she comes out with all of this, then they're just going to think she's nuts. So she had her sign an NDA, kicked her out, and got busy on TikTok. And in last night's video, she like did a half-assed attempt at taking accountability for putting those videos out, but is still lying because... She said she kicked her out and posted those videos because she used in her house and she had no idea that she had relapsed and that she was detoxing when she came, which is all lies. And I get why she's lying because if she admits all of that, then, you know, things might get really complicated in her real life. And that is part of the reason why I didn't want to include the screenshots of a very incriminating conversation in this video. Because aside from Jessica's recovery and CPS and what, whoever she's sleeping with, I don't really care about all that. What I care about is she's the type of person that's going to throw someone under the bus. She's the type of person that will manipulate her whole audience to go at somebody she doesn't like. That is what her actions are showing me. And the nerve of her to like come out here like she's a victim after starting this herself putting somebody else's private, painful, personal business out there. She has somehow come out on top as the victim. And of course, there's creators that are like, oh my god, you guys both need to stop. This is so toxic. Excuse me? <laughs> Last I checked, Mindy was defending herself. Mindy didn't start this. Then there was that one fool, J.D. DeLay, who totally came out simping for Jessica. It was so cringy. Oh my god. And that fool had the audacity to call other people clout chasers. Oh my god. Not only did he simp hard and call people clout chasers, or one person specifically a clout chaser, he also took the opportunity to, you know, virtue signal and make sure everybody knows what a good guy he is. I walk out into the hood and I hug people. And people's reaction was like, no, he's a good guy. He's just being manipulated. If he knows what he says he knows, no, he's not a good guy. He's a guy out here trying to build his channel and that's all he's doing. Because remember, we can't educate him on the situation because he's seen all the screenshots. The ones that Jessica was too classy, quote unquote, to show. What's funny is he's making fun of my friend Nicole in that video like, she hangs out with people that actively use, like making fun of her accent, just making fun of her in general. That That's not funny. However, what's funny is when I asked her, like, I was like, hey, who's this douchebag? She's like, he's a really nice guy. He's being manipulated. And a lot of people in her chat said the same thing. And I'm just like, no, you guys, <laughs> I don't think so. Because there's way too much information out there in the public that's accessible to see that Jessica's lying and that she created this whole situation because she wanted to destroy somebody. But I think I'm going to make a separate video for him. I haven't decided yet because that shit was just way too funny. Anyways, back to talking about the situation that Jessica created for herself. Anyways, I don't know. Last night watching that video, it was a whole lot of fluff and lies and more fluff. Like, a whole lot of filling up the video with talk about her recovery and her mental health, which really... I don't feel like that many people attack. And then her talking about who she dates or sleeps with is her business, which I totally agree. However, under these circumstances, she went and put someone else's information out there first, so I'm not sure what she expected. Can you imagine the outrage if this was done to Jessica unprompted? Like, if she had done nothing and then just somebody put all this information about her out? There would be outrage. And honestly, if that was the case, even though I don't really mess with her, like, I don't really, she's just not my cup of tea, I would totally defend her. Oh, yeah, and then there was the part, you know, the virtue signaling like our, our good buddy JD did, you know, making sure everyone knows what a good person she is. 
Oh my god, I just can't. Anyways, I think I'm going to end the video here. I'll probably make another video on this, maybe. I'm not sure. I was thinking of going live and talking about it, because that might be easier to do, but I don't know. Who knows? Anyways, I hope you guys liked the video. Love y'all.